Hi, I am Monastri Chattopadhyay. Welcome to my channel, E-Tutor Monastri. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the basic concept of a computer, the generations of computer and functions of a computer. Let's first discuss what is computer. In a single sentence, the device used to compute something is a computer. A computer is an advanced electronic device that takes input from user as data, then processes this data according to instructions given to it in a variable software or hardware program and produce result, that is output. Computers can also store data for future use in appropriate storage devices and retrieve whenever it is necessary. Now let's discuss the generations of computer in a brief timeline. Here, the term generations refers to significant hardware and software development. Each generation lasted for a certain period of time and gave us more improved, compact, less expensive, but more powerful as well efficient and robust machines. First generation. The period 1940 to 1956 roughly considered as the first generation of computer. These computers were based on vacuum tubes as the circuit and magnetic drums for memory. The input of this system was based on punch cards and paper tape and the output came out on printouts. These computers were very costly and enormous in size, literally taking up entire rooms. It was consumed a lot of electricity and generated a lot of heat. It could store only a small amount of information due to presence of magnetic drums. The first generation computers worked on binary coded concept that is language of 0-1. The two notable machines of this era were UNIVAC and ENIAC machines. The UNIVAC is the first ever commercial computer that was purchased in 1951 by a business named the US Census Bureau. Now let's move to the second generation of computer. The period 1956 to 1963 is roughly considered as the period of second generation of computers. The second generation of computer were developed by using more reliable transistors instead of vacuum tubes. This resulted in reducing the size of a computer as compared to the first generation. It was also consumed less energy and did not produce as much heat as first generation. In comparison to first generation, the size of the second generation was smaller and computing time was lesser. During this period, over 100 computer programming languages were developed. These computers had memory and operating systems. It also had storage media such as tape and disk and printers for output. Now the third generation of computer. The period 1963 to 1971 was considered roughly as the period of third generation of computers. These computers were based on integrated circuit that is IC technology. In comparison to the computers of the second generation, the size of the computers of the third generation was much smaller, consumed less power and also generated less heat. This generation of computers has a bigger storage capacity. These were the first computer where user interacted using keyboards and monitors. These are interfaced with an operating system. Of course, that was a significant leap up from the punch card and printouts. This helps to run several applications at once using a central program. The maintenance cost of computers in the third generation was also low. That's why the computers of third generation were easier for commercial use. Now the fourth generation of computer. The period of 1972 to 2010 is approximately considered as the fourth generation of computers. 
This technology is based on microprocessor technology. By coming to the fourth generation, the computer became very small in size and more portable. It became much faster, accurate and more reliable. Other major advances during this period were the graphical user interface or GUI. Also, the laptop capability and handheld devices offer more comfort to the user in this generation. This evolution can be summed in one word, Intel. The chip maker developed the Intel 4004 chip in 1971, which positioned all the computer components that is CPU, memory, input-output controls onto a single chip. In the year 1981, IBM introduced the first ever specifically designed computer for home use and in 1984, the Macintosh was introduced by Apple. Fifth generation of computer, the time period 2010 and beyond roughly considered as the period of fifth generation of computers. The generation is based on ULSI that is ultra large scale integration technology. Some of the popular advanced technologies of the fifth generation include artificial intelligence, quantum computation, nanotechnology, parallel processing, etc. The computers of the fifth generation had the high capability and large memory capacity. Computer devices with artificial intelligence are still in development. But some of these technologies are beginning to emerge and to be used in voice or face recognition. Inventors are trying to create machines that can process and respond to the natural language and have the capability to learn and organize themselves. Now let's discuss the functions of a computer. Computer takes the data as input, then process it and produces the output. So, a computer follows input process output cycle or IPO cycle. Computer has four basic functions. First of all, input. Input is the user given raw information entered into the computer from the input devices. The most common input devices are the keyboard and mouse. Other common input devices are microphones, webcams, scanners, USB drivers, etc. Next comes process. In this discussion, process is the execution of set of instructions or operations on data. This is a totally internal functionality of the computer. Once the inputs are received, the computer starts processing the data. Central processing unit or CPU is the main processing component of a computer. CPU has two components, arithmetic logic unit or ALU and control unit or CU. ALU is the fundamental building block of CPU. ALU performs basic arithmetic and logic operations. The control unit or CU supplies the data required by ALU from memory or from input devices and directs the ALU to perform a specific operation based on the instruction fetched. Next, output. After processing the input data, the CPU sends the processed data to the output devices. By default, Computers use monitors as the default output device. Other output devices are printers, speakers, graphic plotters, etc. Next comes storage. Storing data and information is the fourth major function of the computer. In this function, the computer saves the data for later use. A computer uses two types of storage components temporary and permanent. Temporary storage components are used to store the data temporarily and are erased when it is not needed anymore or the system is shut down. RAM is a compulsory temporary storage component of the computer. 
permanent storage components are used to store data permanently and it is not erased when the system is shut down. The hard disk is the most common permanent storage component of the computer. Usually all computers have at least one hard disk or solid state device to store data. Other common permanent storage components or devices are external drives, USB drives and CD DVDs. So this was about the basic concept of computer, the generations of computer and the functions of computer. In the next video we will discuss about the computer hardware and computer software. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment. If you are new to my channel, please do press the subscribe button. Please don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications of my latest uploads.